Would you like to save $1,500 to $10,000 a year on taxes? If you like money, this video is for you. In times of inflation, it is important to start looking at where you can save money and your taxes is a great place to start looking. My name is John Herman of Property Up and I have just been awarded top 2% of real estate agents selling homes in the Northwest suburbs of Chicago and I would love to work with you. Now, here are some very helpful deductions you may not be aware of. Mortgage points deduction, the points that you pay on a loan by buy, build, or substantially improve your primary residence are fully deductible the year that you pay them. Number two, premium mortgage insurance, PMI is what it's known as normally. PMI is usually charged if you put down less than 20% on a home loan. If you itemize your taxes, this can be deducted. Number three, mortgage interest deduction. You can deduct interest on up to $750,000 of debt used to buy, build, or substantially improve your primary home or a single secondary home. For 2018 mortgages, uh, the interest was actually a million dollars was deductible. Number four, mortgage interest credit. In addition to the mortgage interest deduction, there's also a mortgage interest tax credit available to low-income homeowners who received a subsidy to purchase their home. The credit amount ranges from 10% to 50% of the mortgage interest paid during the year. Number five, home office expense deduction. If you're self-employed and work from home, you might be able to deduct up to $1,500 a year. Number six, deduction of medically necessary home improvements. Let's say you spend $50,000 to install an elevator and that increases your home value by $40,000. You can deduct the $10,000 difference. Number seven, property tax deduction. You might be able to deduct the state and local property taxes you pay on your federal income tax return. Number eight, increased basis when selling your home. So your basis is what you paid for your home and the improvements, so the cost of additions and major improvements can be added to the basis too. This does exclude basic repairs and maintenance costs. Number nine, capital gain exclusion when selling your home. So if you've owned your home and lived in it for the past two of the five years, you don't have to pay tax on either $250,000 to $500,000, depending on if you're married or not. So if you buy your home for $500,000 and you sell it for a million, your gain is $500,000 and that's tax free. 10, investors, deduction of of rental expenses. You can deduct expenses for rental space such as insurance, repair, and general maintenance costs, real estate taxes, utilities, supplies, and more. You can also deduct depreciation on the part of your house used for rental purposes and any of the furniture and equipment in the rented space. 11. Forgiveness of debt on a foreclosure or short sale. When it comes to mortgage debt forgiven as part of a foreclosure or short sale, up to $750,000 discharge debt on the principal residence is tax-free. Okay, that was a long list of deductions and here is a quick list of exemptions. General homestead exemption, homestead improvement exemption, long-time occupant homestead exemption, this is available in Cook County only, homestead exemption for persons with disabilities, veterans with disabilities exemption for specially adapted housing, standard homestead exemption for veterans with disabilities, returning veterans homestead exemption, natural disaster homestead exemption, senior citizens homestead exemption, senior citizens assessment freeze homestead exemption, Senior Citizens Real Estate Tax Deferred Program non-homestead exemptions for religious, charitable, and educational organizations. Now, these deductions and exemptions are available for you today. Sometimes the government changes these, so I wanted to make you aware of this as well. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found this information helpful in any way. And again, my name is John Herman of Property Up, and remember, make it a great day.